Photo editing software allows users to perform 2D edits such as moving, scaling, and rotating segments in the image. In the real world, we're used to handling objects like this chair in a hands-on fashion. By lifting them, turning them around, or knocking them over. We present an approach that allows users to perform 3D manipulations of objects and photographs by using publicly available 3D models. Here we use our approach to manipulate the chair in 3D and put it back in place next to the sofas. 3D models for many everyday objects are already available on the internet. However, directly using the geometry and appearance of 3D models from public repositories produces an artificial looking result. Texture mapping the photograph pixels is problematic as well. The geometry doesn't line up, the illumination is unknown, and hidden parts of the object are exposed. Our approach couples the 3D model with the photograph pixels to produce seamless 3D edits. Notice how our result seamlessly breaks away from the original photograph to reveal its hidden areas. Two pairs of parallel lines specify the ground plane. The user aligns and corrects the 3D model by providing point correspondences between the 3D model and the photographed object. We estimate an illumination model from the visible pixels and the geometry of the object using a von Mises Fisher basis with smoothness and sparsity priors. We can now produce shadows and illumination changes on the object as it moves. We use symmetries and the stock model texture to hallucinate hidden parts of the object from the visible areas. We can now have 3D control of objects in the photograph. For instance, we can create dynamic compositions. Traditional CAD tools such as Maya can now be used to animate a single photograph. We simulate a depth of field effect using the object's depth map. Here is an example from Zeng et al. While their method produces photorealistic edits, we are unable to reveal hidden areas of the laptop. We reimagine typical photo editing tasks in 3D, such as copy paste and rotation. Our tool can also be used to beat New York traffic. When symmetries cannot fill the appearance, we use the stock model appearance to render, for instance, the underside of the taxi cab. Our method does not handle complex material interactions such as translucency, yet the results can appear acceptable. Our approach can also be used to manipulate objects in non-photorealistic media such as paintings. In this historical World War II photograph, the user realigns the planes and manipulates them to create the effect of the planes veering towards the camera. Our approach can also be used to create interesting artistic compositions with objects and people. Through our approach, the user changes the story of the photograph from two subjects standing next to a parked car to them watching the car fall off the cliff. Our geometry correction tool can also be used to create non-rigid edits of the object. To see the stock 3D models used in this video, please refer to the supplementary material. Thank you.